Welcome back to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith, and I've got a property on the Pacific Ocean. This one's in Northern California, and it's looking out at the ocean. There's a boat launch just down the street, so if you like fishing, you can, like me, <laughs> you can take your boat down to the boat launch, launch, go catch some halibut, salmon, rockfish, lingcod. There's a bunch of fishing right out front. There's no other boat launches for about 60 miles north and south of here. This is in Humboldt County, California. And the little neighborhood there is called Shelter Cove. So let's jump into the website. I'm going to try to show you this property. It's, uh, I've been asking, I started out at, I don't know, 75 grand or something. I keep lowering the price to figure out, you know, someone's going to buy this at some price. And I've got it down to 28,900. I figured I'd lower it, lower it some more today to 24,900. So 24,900. This is oceanfront, Pacific Ocean, oceanfront kind of stuff. So you can drive right up to it. It's got a, uh, it's got water at the street. It's got power at the street, and it's got sewer at the street. It's just, it's just over a fifth of an acre, and um, got the map going on the website. So here's a map of the property. And if we zoom out a little bit, you'll see the ocean all down south of this property. So the ocean south is looking straight south. So I think you can look down the coast pretty well. This is the Kings, Kings National Range Forest. There's a bunch of trees there. And um, so the neighbor's mowing the lawn next door. A little extra noise in the background. <laughs> Hope you can still hear me. But uh, so there's a boat launch right down here. There's an airstrip. There's a golf course. There's a bunch of walkable beaches up here. Um, there's a bunch of rocks if you like diving. I like free diving, spear fishing, you probably grab abalone in here. So there's rocks all along here to go explore for fish. You put put on your wetsuit and go for a dive. Um, let's take a look at this boat launch. So you could drive around the point here. You can see people keeping their boats down here. So you could probably just keep your boat down there. You probably charge for rental or you know parking or something. But you can leave your boat down here. And then they have a, I hear they have a tractor, and they hook up with a tractor, and they drag your boat over, and they put it in the water, and so there's no, uh, there's no dock there, so you, you, you know, get in the boat, they put it in the water, you launch, you take off, you go fishing, you come back, you call them on the phone, they bring the tractor over with your trailer, and you trailer back up, and then they go park the boat for you. So that's how the launch happens here. They've got a good set of rocks they stuck out in the water help break the waves the south facing you know coast the waves are going to circle around but it's not direct right in there so this is one of the few spots along the coast you can make a run for it and get the boat out in the water and then the property is just up the hill from there so there's a bunch of green between the water and the property but that green is it's a big hill there um, you can see the other people building out on the hill. Some of these roads go a little further out on either side, but this road comes to here, and then it's, you know, the people have built all over the area. They've built further out the hill than this lot. Um, so they're going for the views, right? So next to it, next to it, there's houses around. So you can build, I think this, this block is offset a little bit, like this curve should follow the curve of the road so just imagine that I wish I could move it with a mouse <laughs> you know just imagine it were up a little bit more you know to fit the road so going right off the road and over so the lot's going to be up here more and um, it just looks like a good spot to get a view so if we take the little google guy over here and take a look we might be able to get some side streets to take a look too so here's the cul-de-sac there's a power line right there with a transformer on it so they probably don't even have to hook the transformer up to hook over to you here's a neighbor house and hill over there there's a neighbor house over here looks like they've got propane tank there's another neighbor house beyond them and then this this land over here is the the land Let's see if we can get any closer i don't know it doesn't work but uh this is the property so right off the side of the road here this would be like your driveway and your house. You just build a house right in between here and have it looking out at the ocean. Might want to do a little bit of midnight pruning, make some of these bushes, trees disappear. So you get a bigger view or keep them. I mean, whatever your preference is. 
but uh, looking out at the ocean. So you should see you should see fishing boats and you should see birds. Maybe you see pelicans flying by, cruising by here when the when the wind's blowing. You know how they just float on the float on the airwaves. And seagulls too. You probably hear seagulls. You probably have seagulls like picking your trash if you don't. You know, you're you're that close to the ocean. You're just gonna have the ocean, um, the ocean breeze, the ocean smell, the ocean feel, the ocean temperature, and the ocean animals. So let's get let's back out of here. I think I saw when I was starting to zoom in. The Google guy comes over here too, huh? Yeah. Let's see if we can see off of this. So this would be the next street up. People got their boats in the driveway. Is that the end of the street, or well, what am I doing here? Um. Yeah, so I think the land is, I think that was the other neighbor's house. The land's going to be in between here. Let's see if we can get a better view somewhere. Geez, that just skipped a long ways, huh? Now there's another house in the way. They're building a pizza oven. Yeah, so here's the red house we were looking at from the previous street. It's the red house. We'll see if we can drive this way. There's the blue house we're looking at from the other street as well. Let's see if we can get a good view in there. Um, but it's it's just trees in the way. It's going to be on the hill over here, between these houses, looking out at the ocean. There's no good view from over here, I guess. I just want a little peak hole. That might work. So here's some of the trees. Here's some of the hill. You can see how it. It starts more gradual and then it drops off later on. So this more gradual area over here would be where you build the house. Look at these people built on the hill. They just put a deck out front. The deck looks out at the ocean. They got a driveway that comes up to the back of the house. I mean, that's one way you could do it over here on your lot. That might be your power pole right there. And that put the lot right in here. So you put the house right over there. We'll see if we can get a better view from somewhere else. Um... I mean, it's you can't really see through there so well. And then there's a bunch of trees in the way. So let's maybe back out of here, see where else we got. Because I, I was just, where'd the red house go? Is that the red house? I think that's the red house. We were just looking over here back and seeing this house. And then we were kind of, maybe we should go back and look down their driveway. Because that's basically looking, I think you look into a tree and that looks into the land. Uh, maybe we could look from up here. Let's see if that works. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at. So the property is back in there. Let's see if we can see it from above. No, it doesn't really work. Looks like some power lines stretching back across the area. I don't think we're going to get the right angle. But... Um, so looking from over here doesn't really work. Look, maybe looking down their driveway, looking off of here, you can kind of see over that way. But the the street view from up here shows shows you a lot of what it is. Some nice trees in there, and you just set the house in between those trees. Maybe knock some out. Maybe we could even do the street view over here and look back, huh? That might work. Gonna make sure I'm going the right direction. Is that the ocean? Yeah. Okay, so this is further up the hill. This is Cove Point. It's the next street over. Let's see if we get a hole in the trees and we can look back towards the property. The easier thing to do would be to hit the GPS coordinates on my website and drive over there and take a look. This is going to be a lot of what your view looks like. I mean, look at that. You're just looking down the coast. King's National Forest. I mean, look at these hills. Look at the trees. Look at that countryside. That is some beautiful stuff. So the property is just right back over here somewhere. There's the brown house. Which one is that? I think that's the other side of the... I think our, our property is going to be in between this hill and that hill. And you can see there's scattered houses along this hill looking out at the ocean. I'm not getting a good view from here either. There's a couple too many trees in the way. So if you like to play with a chainsaw, you can take a couple trees out here and there and open up your view. But So off the end of this street, it just kind of looks like it goes off a cliff. 
So it's not at the end of this street. This is the next street over. So we were just out here with the Google guy looking back. And um, yeah, this is, gets a steeper cliff. But So where's that brown house? The brown house we were just looking at was this one over here. So we were seeing that brown house from over here and then the red house. But it's uh, it's just off the end of this, this um, whatever this street's called. And um, between the red house and that street, so that's where the that's where the property would be. Cove Street. Um, let's go back. But I think you're just gonna get big, big, big ocean views. Nice breeze off the ocean coming right in too. Cove Street, the end of Cove Street. I'm gonna lower the price. Of Twenty-four thousand nine hundred bucks. Cause nobody bought it at twenty-eight nine hundred. I'm gonna drop it to twenty-four nine hundred. Let's we'll see if that does it. I'll change the, I'll change the checkouts. I'll change the prices and things by the time you see this video. Looks like the taxes have been about three hundred seventy bucks a year on this one. I mean, it is ocean oceanfront, right? Um, we've got uh, pictures, of the local post office, the beach. Um, you know different things in the area this is big wide open black sand beach that you can go hike on or walk on it's just north of the property you probably ride your bike over here i'm sure you could just glide your bike down there but then maybe you want to hitchhike it back up the hill or push it back up the hill or have an electric bike to get back up the hill or maybe you're just strong enough but i'd be too lazy to push it back up the hill um yeah so there, this neighborhood is called Shelter Cove, and there's a website, and the website to, about the neighborhood is linked to on the ad from the property. So if you go down to the description below and you go back to my website, one of the links from there is to the Shelter Cove website to learn more about the neighborhood. And since I've clicked on this in the last week or two, three or whatever, they've updated the website. So they've got a new website going on. It used to look like it was from 1990s. Now it looks like it's from the 2000s. Um, and uh, they've got you know different tabs here to look at um, services who they are and stuff water wastewater electricity I pulled up some of those um, you know fire department airport information about the airport uh, the local fire guys um, recreation page I think I got the thought I had yeah I had the recreation page pulled up and then I moved away from it so they got the golf course they want to tell you about that and then they look at this green fees 15 bucks for nine holes 20 bucks for 18 holes that sounds like michigan where i grew up kinds of prices <laughs> uh 50 bucks for one week i guess you can you can just play all you want if you do the one week deal they got a lot of recreational trails so this is what they say the um uh, they have many recreational trails located in the district's green belt for the public's enjoyment to make Clean Foundation, the Shelter Cove Arts and Recreation Foundation, all these people have gotten together to maintain the trail system. Um, it's an educational nature trail or fitness trail. There are many to choose from. Simple walk to the black sand beaches will tune up the muscles and relax the mind. New Shelter Cove bicycle trail is currently being designed in the northeast section of the cove located on, you know, this other green belt non-motorized trail so they're adding trails they're still working on it they're improving the nature interaction with the community and uh, going for it and they're proud of that and they're showing it off on their website and they've got this new playground um, that they built recently and they're talking about all the different funding that they got state grants and grants from different people and neighborhood funds and things to put it all together um, they're saying it's the most popular kids activities they have to offer in Shelter Cove is this playground. We have two main structures. One is designed for children under five years old. It looks like a ship and the other is a fun jungle gym. There's also swings and bouncy whimsy riders and they open during daylight hours. Um, and then they have a community clubhouse. Shelter Cove Community Clubhouse contains abalone hall and kitchen which is available for rent for private functions, many public and private events. Are held throughout the year at this in this venue it's an amazing asset to the community below are the rental rates and monthly calendar showing availability um i'm going to skip that part but they're you know they've got this community center is what they're trying to say 
I got an application pulled up on the screen to get your utilities hooked up so you don't have to do much of anything. I mean, you go to that, go to the link in the bottom of this video, it'll take you to my website, and then it's got the link about the neighborhood, and on there, it's got an application to hook up your utilities, and you put your name and, and uh, you know, what you want, water, sewer, electric, because this lot has all three of them, water, sewer, and electric. You don't have to build stuff. You just check the box and pay them. Um, you say you're the owner, and you fill out the APN number. The APN number is on the listing of the property on my website. It's on there. Um, street address, billing address, you know, where you want them. Yeah, you know what a billing address is. Um, you know, phone number, sign. And then uh, what they charge is they charge, you know, some connection fees like $2,300 to hook up the um, water, but they also charge a capacity charge. They charge you like nine grand capacity charge. So it sounds like a lot to hook up the water, but what they're doing is they're recapitalizing the infrastructure that they've built to supply you with water. And so instead of um, paying and waiting, it's already installed and they're hoping for some money back as people hook up the utilities. So there's a capacity charge. They got capacity charges on the water, sewer, and electricity. Yeah, so you're buying, it's 9,000 bucks each. So 9,000 bucks capacity charges and then 2350 for water, 2050 for sewer, and 2550 for electricity. You put it all together with those, those capacity buy-ins and the um, installation fees they're tabulating thirty three thousand nine hundred fifty dollars and I think that's why properties in this area are cheap because um, one there's a lot of properties in this area there's like forty five hundred properties in the neighborhood and I don't know a thousand or fifteen hundred or something of them have actually been developed but nowhere near all of them and it was set up in the 60s or early 70s or something and so um, in those days they built lots of lots all look kind of the same and they flooded the market with them and they offered them on you know crazy easy financing cash and everything else and it took them 10 15 years to sell them all or whatever but they eventually sell them all and part of that is they would make lots of infrastructure lots of roads power water sewer like heavy infrastructure in the developments they did at that age and now People do a lot more, you know, five lots, 10 lots, 50 lots, 100 lots. It's easier to put them on the market and it's not a whole lot of the same thing flooding the market. And they can do them faster, but they're not as much um, infrastructure intensive like these old ones. And so the way they structured these old ones, they would they would ask you to chip in, help cover the, inf the infrastructure as you built on the lot instead of setting it up and then saying, okay, you want to build, now you add the infrastructure it's kind of like chicken or the egg kind of thing they figure if you build it they will come and so they've built it and now they want some of their money back even though it's like you know 40 50 years later um so that's what they're asking for that's why it's like that in my understanding opinion thirty-three thousand nine hundred fifty bucks you got utilities that's cheaper than setting up a massive solar system to do do it and water delivery and water catchment and septic and i think i think it's cheaper when it comes down to it than drilling drilling for water and doing all your own utilities i think it's cheaper to just pay these guys it's already there so that's they get away with it um they have a link on that same website to the weather like the local weather station i think it's at the little airport there and the current temperature is 64 degrees humidity is 53 percent that's probably means the fog's rolling through huh um, no rain today, yearly rain, 0.32 inches, wow, wind chill, now it's 64 degrees, it's just updated, wind speeds like 5 miles an hour, um, today's highs and lows, high 73 degrees, low 56 degrees, between 7 and 9 in the morning, it fluctuated, probably probably was sunny and then the fog rolled in huh that's probably what happened so that's the weather that's what's going on up there i really wanted to show you some 3d of this let's see if i can pull that up there's gps coordinates on here i'm going to click that it's going to open in the map 
If you click on that in your phone, you can get driving directions to the property. I'm, I'm pulling it up in the computer, so it brings it up in here. Um, so this lot, there's a hill, right? It's a big hill. So there's a shelf up here. This is, this is the property up here, this flat spot next to the road. That's where you build the house. And then the hill drops down from there. But just like these other houses are built on the flatter stuff up before the hill drops down, you can hit the flatter stuff up there before the hill drops down. Maybe I should move this marker over here more because it's not down here. It's over here. It's this, this stuff here is where you, you go build the house. Um, yeah, so that's, that's where you'd be. And then if I turn this around, this is what your view would be looking like. This is what gets me so excited about this property. Not only does it have all kinds of utilities, you're looking at the ocean. I mean, I don't, there might be a hill in the way so you don't see the boat launch like I was thinking, but you're looking at ocean, 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 just ocean all over the place. And that is a magical thing. Like I, I got ocean views here. I mean, I look at the ocean all the time. I don't know what I do without ocean views. It's, uh, it helps relax me. It helps, um, get my mind going. It's, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's a powerful thing to be looking at a body of water or to be around one and the temperature stays more rational. It doesn't fly up and down, um, like it can, if you get away from a natural air conditioner, like the ocean. So there's the property, the end of the paved road right here, build a house right out on the shelf before it drops off and get some awesome views. I don't think you're going to hike down this cliff to get to the ocean, but if you come down here and go around the corner, you can get to the boat launch here, you can get to the beach over here, and um, there's a little restaurant and some little hotel place you can keep your RV and stuff, um, keep your boat down here in the parking lot, <laughs> don't have to park it up here like these people do, but you can it looks like. And there you go, that's the property. I'm asking 24,900 bucks. I think it's the cheapest oceanfront property in California. Maybe the cheapest one in California, Oregon, Washington. <laughs> you know, it's the cheapest one I know of. And I look at a lot of land. So, oceanfront, 24,900. Hopefully this is the right one for you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith at RuralVacantLand.com.